All right. Failed alpha male is losing his mind from too lazy to try. Let me see. All right, so in this video, we have that alpha male red pill life coach guy, Wes Watson, who will yell at you for three grand a month and coach you. So eventually you can... I never heard of this dude. <laughs> ...can yell at people and coach them so that they can learn to... Stop being a bitch. Uh, ...coach people or something. I'm still not exactly sure what he does, but... I know there's a lot of yelling and coaching going on, and apparently it's been a very lucrative business for him. He rental, 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 rental. The location is a rental. Uh, this little thing over here is also a rental. This is all a rental. He loves talking about how much money he makes, and it's so much he can't just say how much he makes in a year. He has to break it down as much as possible so us poors can fully understand how much it really is. I do about two million a month at eighty-five percent profit. Yesterday alone, I did ninety thousand. Okay. But today, so far, just on the drive down here, I did about fifteen thousand on the drive back here. Today, we'll do anywhere between thirty and two hundred grand. Right. Every day, I do between thirty and two hundred thousand. I have about 40,000 in recurring revenue from all my programs that I get daily. So, I mean, not for nothing. There's nothing wrong with like making money and especially, uh, like that amount of money a day, like bro, he makes what he makes in a day, what it takes me like three or four ish months. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he says any, any month, he will make anywhere between 30 and 200 K. I mean, he's making my yearly salary and potentially even up to like three or four times that. So, I mean, you do you, man, get your bag, whatever. I mean, daily, I get 40,000 regardless if yeah. I don't. Oh, wow. Daily 40 K. So he makes a day what I make in about a year. Jesus Christ. So if he is making 365 people's yearly salary, how often do you think he's like, I don't know, donating it to charity or I don't know, just helping someone out, trying to like help them out or I don't know. I Like who am I to like judge like what people do with their money? But uh, I mean, shit, dude. I mean, I'm just coming off of a uh, uh, like Hurricane Joe Schmo, Hurricane Joe Schmo 2. And then the upcoming uh, Hurricane Joe Schmo 3. So, I don't know. Like, you can make uh, all the money you want. and Which is fine. But if you want to parade around in, in social media about how much you make. Like, like I, I get the vibe of what kind of audience uh, you're going for. He is going for, like, the Andrew Tate type of audience you know he's going he's like andrew tate 2 electric boogaloo Ugh. it's the same vibe i mean that's all i feel from him he's targeting the same audience trying to take a, a chunk out of the andrew tate uh you know sliver um i mean that's whatever i mean honestly like i had role models that were very aggressive like this uh, when I was younger, but they were in the form of cartoons, you know, like Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I can't tell you how many times, uh, like whenever I worked out or was in my room by myself that I tried to power up and turn into a Super Saiyan whenever I was feeling like all jazzed up and whatnot. So this is just what I feel is the most modern form of, I don't know, some sort of like internet dad or whatever.
you can do one thing. So he really enjoys talking about how much money he makes, but when he's not doing that, he's usually having a meltdown over how little other people make and how he is so far above them. Like he's always going, who cares? If you are so up your own ass about how much other people make, why don't you try to change it instead of like flexing on it? Why don't you like run for office or something? Run for like local mayor and try to like make a difference or some shit. Bitch, you're just over here like suckling and taking advantage off of the system with, I don't know what this dude sells, whatever. He probably sells some sort of like life coach help type of shit. Um, why don't you, if you're, if you're so unhappy with your current surroundings, why don't you try to do something about it? Going off on the pores, as Tom Segura would say. Oh, now he's hanging out with you know who. Ah. It's just, uh, like one big bubble, one big inner circle of, uh, flexing. Like, none of these guys, none of these characters give a shit. All they care about is, is like, not only their money, first and foremost, you got to protect the money. You got to die before you do up, give any of your money. Um, but they also care about the public image that they have. You know, there's a ton of rich people that have no public image and they are completely happy. But the real narcissistic shit, the real egotistical shit happens when you have like a somewhat rich person that really craves that attention, that attention seeking behavior. Uh, I need the hearts. I need the up thumbs. I need the follows. I need the subs. Like, bro, like why not actually try to like help out your, your the city that you live in? You know, like, I don't know really a lot of influencers that, uh, or any, I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know like any influencers that have actually tried to make a damn difference in their own city. You know, look at, look at the rules, look at the, the ordinance ordinances, look at the local laws run for mayor, try to build some shit, try to help people out and whatever you do. You, if you want to no one, I, like, I'm not trying to tell anybody like what to do, but this is just. To me, this is just like Andrew Tate version 69. But Tom seems like the most down to earth person ever compared to Wes. I mean, one time he talked about flipping out and putting his hands on somebody because they didn't shut his car door properly. I think that's what he's saying here. Honestly, I'm not too sure. I think I might be too poor to even understand what he's mad about. I just, I don't operate too well around normal people because they're stupid. They're in their position. They're in the same position they're in because they're not that educated. They're yeah, he's not lying. Most people are pretty stupid. You know, why do you think the, uh, uh, the, what do you call it? The, like the average salary for like any given person is about 40 to 50 K, you know, no shit people. I, I, this is an opinion, but I would say people, uh, have their personalities and behaviors dictated to them by their environment if you are the the sibling or the offspring of like some doctors like your mom was a doctor your dad was a doctor you live in a neighborhood uh your neighbor's a doctor your other neighbor's a doctor what are the chances that you yourself grow up as a doctor pretty high i would say same thing with a lawyer if you grow around grow up or like if your dad owns a car dealership and all of a sudden dad and mom decide to have a bunch of kids, what do you think the chances are of those kids also owning a car dealership or maybe starting up another car dealership, like, like a different town, a different county, you know, it's all under the same thing. Like, no shit. A lot of people did don't have like, the benefit of inheriting some shit from their parents. And yes, those outlier stories of I pulled myself up off of, out of my bootstraps and I made something, I made something out of nothing. Those stories are fantastic. They're, they're great. And they're inspirational. Um, and people should try to do better for themselves. But I mean, 
I don't know. Not everybody can. I mean, they. I think most people have the capacity to, but I think it's mostly mental for a lot of people. They're just like depressed and shit. They don't understand what the is happening. <laughs> the motherfucker pushes my phantom door with his hand on the paint. I go, motherfucker, have you ever had your car washed? And he goes, um. What the fuck is a phantom door? Is that the one that opens like up like that, like a, like a butterfly wing. What the fuck is a phantom door? This is like some giga one percent problems. Ain't nobody care about your stupid ass phantom door, bitch. What? I said, have you ever had your fucking car washed before? And he goes, oh come on, Wes. I said, nah, dog. Have you ever washed your fucking car? And he goes, oh come on, bro. I said, do you want someone putting their fucking hand all over it? I uh, where's the door handle? I don't know what car he's talking about. Where's the door handle? Is the door handle painted? It usually is. That's how most people open door handles, dude. I grab oh, him by his neck and I'm holding him by his neck. And I can't imagine someone sounding more unrelatable with just this little conversation. I'm like, I'm like, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> And I think it's kind of funny because even Jack Doherty like realizes that this guy is like popping off and sounding like a complete rich asshole. <laughs> oh man, even Jack Doherty knows to not sound that unrelatable. <laughs> no, this happens all day. No, that's yeah. not good. I would never let someone like that get to me though. Oh, no. Isn't there a certain point where you can't let people that are doing like that you're doing way better than get to you? You know? No, you have to teach them. And you know you're too far gone when even this kid thinks you're out of control. Like, I always thought this kid was the worst, but I think Wes might have him beat. And it's just funny that Wes is always talking about how important money is. And he Oh boy, I wonder what side of the political spectrum this guy falls under. Oh boy, I really wonder. Brags about how much he makes, but he always just seems miserable and lets the dumbest shit get to him. Like, if you remember around five months ago, he threw a temper tantrum at a Fresh and Fit event because somebody is talking about how materialism isn't the most important thing in life, which just caused him to lose it. And he's pretty much just, oh, it's this guy. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't realize it was this guy. <laughs> I saw that shit. I didn't know it was the same dude. <laughs> Been spiraling ever since. Dude, god damn, look at whose shirt is that? Dude, that your your fucking mom bought you that, your aunt bought you that for fucking Thanksgiving dinner. That's like Oshkosh Bagosh or some shit, bro. Holy like It's not Oshkosh Bagosh. It's called Goodwill, dumbass. A lot of people shop at Goodwill. Stupid ass bitch. Shit. <laughs> if those are men to you guys, God go forbid, fucking kill God yourself. forbid you say watches are not important to this guy. No, uh, it's the Well, to be fair, watches are not really important to anybody when you have the clock on your phone. Most people have phones. Bro, I see homeless people walking around with phones. Okay? <laughs> Think about materialism. You're, you're, yeah, you worship it, guys, dude. You worship it. Listen out. I mean, everybody, to some degree, worships materialism if you live in America. Uh, m this is what most people do. Maybe you're not going to like worship materialism in the fact that, oh, I need my personal yacht. I need my personal fucking jet. I need my personal uh, the, the fucking seven, eight, nine, ten man SUV line up with police and all the shit anywhere I go. I'd, like maybe to the, not that level, but like, hey, I really like Internet. I like having a nice PC setup. I like having a, a really nice phone. Uh, uh, my clothes, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, hey, I like having a car that doesn't smoke whenever I turn it on. You know, to some degree, most people uh, worship materialism. So to say that, oh, your your version of materialism worship is just is ridiculous. It's like, no, if you want to operate in society and want to enjoy the niceties uh, and privileges. That society has to offer then you gotta play by the game how reactive you are if someone shave says your goddamn arms you, say you can't bro. deal with it you can't deal with it why would i shave my arms on the man these pale what the fuck is wrong with you okay shave your body look at these pale fucks i mean bro who's that one dude who's trying to live forever brian johnson like doesn't he say that like you should probably not 
hit the sun so much because uh, with all the UV rays, uh, you're just going to da end up damaging your skin just because like a tan person looks cooler and more attractive if you're tan. It's like, go under a damn, uh, I don't know what the fuck he uses, like a little thing that shows how much sun damage you got to your skin. And it's like, and then you go like put that same uh, image thing on like a pale person. You see how much their skin is damaged. Like who gives a shit? buddy who gives a shit oh you're not tan you're not i guarantee you if any one of these old ass like trillionaire billionaire motherfuckers were on this panel anybody that was worth a damn was also on this panel like some of these old guys he this dude would shut the fuck up real quick when real money comes in the room so it's been around five months since that and he still hasn't recovered i mean i don't think he ever will and he's kind of proven their point you know he talks about money is so important and everything but like i said he seems miserable and is always having a meltdown over the smallest things like recently he talked about being in an uber driver's car and he's flipping out at somebody on the phone of course he's flipping out in an uber driver's car bro you think bill gates rides around in like some joe schmo uber Shut the fuck up. You're in an Uber. Well, what's like the tiers of Uber, like Uber Platinum or some shit? If you're made of like millions of dollars, why are you in an Uber? Stupid. And the driver tried to give him some advice, some good advice, and he said he shouldn't let people get to him that much. But of course, this just pissed Wes off even more. So he had to put the driver... Like, there is a time to be in character and a time to be out of character. Like, if this dude is in character when... There's no cameras rolling and you're just an asshole to people like what are you doing with your life dude Turn his place and tell him how much money he has and call him a broke loser uber driver he was just quiet the whole way as i just fucking yeah most uber drivers are quiet unless like you start talking to them yeah laid into this idiot on the way here because these people they always just fuck insert their fucking advice into my life much the same way that you insert your presence on the internet and whatever me and the guy were talking about i had to yell at the dude tell him he's a fucking dipshit and he shut the fuck up and then the uber driver's like you shouldn't let people get to you like that i said no bro no bro how old are you dog he said 67 i said you're an uber driver at 67 let's just go over the facts you just picked me up at my $25 million house. You're dropping me off at my warehouse. Look inside there. I open. Why is this guy trying to flex on an Uber driver, dude? Why why aren't you taking one of those cars you were posing in front of on, on that damn picture or whatever? Why are you in a fucking Uber? You're so dumb. The garage. I said there's Rolls Royces and Lamborghinis in there. That lifted truck right there is 600000 why don't you take like, one of those? You're an Uber driver at 67, bro. Look at your physical condition and look at where you're at. You're an Uber driver. You just picked me up at my $25 million house. Like, you picked me up there. You saw it, bro. Why are you giving me any advice? All you should do is ask me what the fuck I do and how I did it. And you should realize that top people, the only reason a lot of you guys are not top people is because you don't yell at people. So he's doing a real good job of Jesus. proving how important materialism is, you know. And also, you have to understand that whenever that dude is like going off on a tangent like that about yelling about people, he is in character mode. That's not how he like. Well, let me see. I'll draw this again. Uh, circle, whatever, black. Th like that type of care person is like. That's the person. Uh, like the real person. Like, and then this is the character. They are. They are. Damn near. Well, I probably kind of like whatever. They are damn near uh, on top of each other, okay? They are so similar. The char actor. 
they are damn near uh overlapping circles what is this called concentric or no concentric is like the one with the circle inside whatever uh these this is a damn near perfect venn diagram okay uh and if you think about it uh like look about it or think about it in terms of like an actor usually an act like this is like an act like a professional actor like this is the person And this is the character of like a professional actor. Okay. They are not overlapping. Now they could overlap like a little bit, like, you know, in the fact that they're both uh, portraying like a human with some sort of like human logic and whatever. But for the most part, a person like the person and the character are two completely different people. Okay. But what these influencers do is like, their normal character is just like a little bit amped up of what they normally would be. And it's like, it's so tiring. It sounds like all that money he has is making him real happy. I mean, that Uber driver was probably like, listen, I'm good with what I'm doing. If or maybe, maybe that was even a fake story. What about that? What if that was just a completely fabricated fake story in order to get a rise out of you? that's what making money is like having roid rage every day over some stupid shit like somebody blowing a leaf blower outside your house then i think i'm happy with what i'm doing we still need to hear this fucking noise when people have to just walk around your house blowing leaves because they don't have any better solution i am 100 percent convinced this guy uh just thinks for like two seconds on what he can bitch about and then makes a video about it and blows and makes a mountain out of a molehill molehill which is what a lot of influencers do that's essentially what they're doing they make mountains out of molehills and i am completely 100 percent convinced that this guy actually doesn't care about the noise he's just trying to like uh rustle up some content all right that's all this is this is trying to farm for content. Um, he doesn't actually care about the noise. He knows he hired some people to like mess around and clean the outside of his house. Uh, yeah. It's fucking psychotic. Who the fuck likes this noise around their house twice a week to pay for it? Okay, there's a- Bro, uh, most people, well not most people, some people that pay for lawn care service, uh, they deal with it they just deal with it and yeah it's like a little inconvenient but who gives a shit whatever at least you don't have to go outside and mow your own damn lawn or clean up after yourself all right you all about trying to like work hard and do shit motherfucker you paying people to do shit stupid what whatever happened to the phrase if you want something done right go do it yourself uh Where's, where's all that energy? All right, shut up. It's a good invention for you motherfuckers. Fuck! Shut! Watch. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, Jesus. Hey! 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 This is most likely staged. This is staged. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Did he just start blowing again? <laughs> I think the dude heard him. Stopped to like listen. <laughs> and he just kept on going. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> and then, bro, it would have been so funny if he walked over and then he started blowing him. <laughs> well, there the f 
you go. Two minutes of the video wasted. Because these motherfuckers just... That wasn't waste. That was your attempt to try to farm out a little bit of content. Don't get that it's so fucking annoying to sit there and... There's no possible way that, that Wow, dude. Maybe you should, like, maybe invent, like, some quiet wind blowers or something if it's so annoying. But no, you like to bitch and complain. That's what you like. You like to bitch and complain. That needed to be done at that level. This is... And imagine hiring this guy as your life coach. How sad is that? I mean, these people that are barely scraping by will seriously pay him thousands of dollars for him to yell at them. But I think he might be finally running out of losers to take advantage of because yeah. his views are way down. He keeps embarrassing himself. He seems to be getting more and more mm -hmm. desperate. Like recently, he was flipping out at his fans for being broke and not having at least $10,000 to pay for his course. 99% of you motherfuckers are in such a laughable position. Yeah. It makes me sick to think that you actually should speak or know anything or why the fuck you're even still breathing at this point. Go on to always say, hey. Invest in me, believe in me. I'll be your best student, motherfucker. Ain't no best motherfucker doesn't have ten fucking G's. Doesn't have a hundred G's. Does if you really believed that your information was so beneficial, you would give it out for free. Doesn't have an M to spend. You don't even got a credit card. Who the fuck should ever trust you? You mean you want to get to a position like you see motherfuckers like me have and you don't have a hundred grand liquid to spend on your business? All you losers and you dumb bitches. Yeah, I said it. You guys don't ever want to get... He, he was so afraid to call his own audience losers and bitches. You could hear the hesitation in his voice. He's like, oh God, do I call the 13 and 14 year olds? Uh, losers and bitches and brokies. Oh God. Oh, uh, <laughs> he, he was so on the fence about saying that. <laughs> Give compliments up top because you want success to be what you're already, what you already. So this is a bold strategy for him yelling at his fans for not wanting to put $10,000 on a credit card to pay for his course. So he can continue to afford driving around in a Bugatti. I ain't putting fuck it. I ain't taking out a damn loan or a damn credit card for 10k of your stupid ass course, dude. Shut up. I mean, it sounds like people are starting to come to their senses finally and realizing how embarrassing it would be to pay this guy. I mean, he's telling people you can get to my level, but first you have to help me finance my lifestyle. You know, like you want to get a Bugatti? No. Well, help me pay for mine first. And he always talks no. about how much money he spends every month, like it's a flex, but it just sounds like he's an idiot because he's probably Dang, dude, all filtered out. Probably took this little picture after a workout, got the filter on it, uh, gold uh, uh, fucking lettering on his little word, uh, the sm literal smallest private jet that you can think of. Uh, yeah, to the people that have like real money, this is like a jalopy of a private jet, dude. 100%. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your stupid little tiny jet. Probably going to go broke. I mean, I'm sure his sales are dropping. And like I said, he seems desperate, but he'll never give up his lifestyle. That would be so embarrassing for him. You know, that's all he has. So he'd probably rather just go bankrupt. Like he said, he still spent $600,000 in monthly expenses. Jesus. And I guess part of his marketing strategy is to brag about that while yelling at his fans for not giving him enough money. How, how do so many grown men who look like they're doing okay online, not even have 10 grand. What? what the fuck? What does that statement even mean? How many, how are there so many okay looking guys on the internet? But, well, number one, you're, you're literally talking about the internet. Not everybody has a fucking picture on the internet, dude. All right. Uh, like, most people don't show themselves on the internet. Stupid. Like, this is like the bubble that the internet is. What are you guys doing? You don't even have 10... I'm staying at home, going to the gym, going to my job, 
and then coming home playing video games and then watching some videos and and, and yeah that's it why i need a fucking private jet for why do i need a private train why do i need a private car why do i need a bulletproof car uh, why do i need to have a plastic box around me because everyone's trying to kill me why why do i need all that takes offense to that is so fucking stupid you should be like well damn how do you have six hundred thousand in bills a month and still be buying dope ass shit i can't even pay for my lame ass shit and i have no savings i'm a dumb f please teach me how i'm one of those idiots as soon as you admit that you're a dumb fucking idiot then you can change as soon as you admit you're a fat titty having loser f then you'll understand why the fuck you don't know shit about your stupid diet. You guys don't know shit. Most people don't know shit about dieting and eating. That's most people, dude. Yeah. If you wanted to appear more relatable, you could, uh, you could easily sound more relatable by talking about what it was like for you when you first started, dude. But no. You chose the way of pain. You wouldn't be where you're at if you knew anything. Yeah, so I don't know if business is going so great if this is what he Bro, most, there's a lot of doctors out there that don't know shit about eating, okay? He's resorting to, you know, it's so funny. He's supposed to be a life coach and this is his life flipping out on social media because people won't pay him because they're too broke. Like, shouldn't he have better things to be doing? You know, mm -hmm. he supposedly has the life everybody wants, but this is what he spends his time doing, getting all worked up over broke people. And now he's falling for trolls, too. Like, recently somebody... I think he thinks that getting, like, riled up is content. But no one's watching. That's the thing, dude. No one's watching. Just to mess with him, messaged him that they wanted a free trial for his course because they couldn't afford it. And Wes <laughs> called him flipping out about how he's a broke loser. And it's so funny to think this is Wes trying to make a sale, you know, which has sadly probably worked way too many times. How dumb are you guys? You guys are fucking the biggest pussies, bro. So you look at a life like mine and you are too scared to spend $3,000 to have a chance at having an opportunity to live like I live. Do you get how stupid that is? No, I don't really like gambling. That's all. Wes, I'm trying to run up the money. I just need a trial period. Listen, do you get how stupid that is? Do you understand how stupid you are? <gasps> this kid is farming, dude. <laughs> By even telling someone on my level that you want a trial period. Do you understand what you look like to me? Do you think I would work with someone who wants a trial period when it's knowledge? This is not something you try, you <laughs> You hear this kid almost crack? <laughs> he's got no idea. He's... I don't know if he actually knows that this is a troll or he's just going in and just eating the bait up. Getting like, uh, getting baited. Fucking idiot. This is knowledge that once you have it, you are skilled to make money. I know. You, you hold your, your laughter your back brain. in the background. People like you ruin my fucking bro. Don't ever hit me up again. You ruined any chance. I had to just call you to tell you how stupid you are, bro. This is how stupid you are. Okay? Stupid. Yeah, so that was amazing. And I love that Wes is trying to act like he just called him to tell him he's a broke loser and he didn't want to work with him and he didn't want him to sign up for his course because obviously he's... Oh, yes, you would want him to sign up for your course. If he had 3000 or $10,000, you would easily eat that up. You would easily take his money, stupid. I think you're going to all of a sudden tack on some morals to how you make your money. I doubt it. <laughs> He's just trying to shame him into buying the course. Like, why else would he waste his time talking to a broke loser for free, too? Isn't his time more valuable than this? I mean, spending it getting trolled. And it happened again, too, with the same person. He told Wes he'd <laughs> sign up for the course. 
But then when he has him on the phone, he makes a P. Diddy joke at the end, and Wes just loses it and drops the hard R. Yeah, I, I was just trying to sign up for some coaching, bro. How, how are you just going to drop the hard R on someone just based off their voice? Bro, John DiMaggio? Or is it John or Don? I think it's John DiMaggio. The voice of Bender from Futurama has the best black guy voice. And this is this compliment is coming from a lot of other black voice actors. All right. Get John DiMaggio on here and do this same thing. I wonder if he would still say he would probably say the same thing. Like, come on. <laughs> You opted in for the business coaching. Are you trying to build a coaching business or are you just trying to get rich? What are you trying to do? See, I'm trying to do both, really. Yeah, because on Instagram, I can just video chat you right there. I don't have to fucking, uh, and I can send you stuff. I can see that you got it. All right, bet, bro. Hey, is, is Diddy with you? Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. What's up? Is Diddy with you? What'd you say? Is Diddy there with you? Another one of fucking weirdos. God, you dumb little n***er. Fuck you, dude. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so this is what Wes Watson is up to now. Sounds like things are going real well. I guess this is what chasing money has led to. Him desperately yelling at trolls to buy his course so he can afford a Bugatti. What a life. So, how many? What's the joke? How many Bugattis do you own or something? Whatever Andrew Tate said. How many Bugattis do you have or, or something? <laughs> That's about it here. But make sure you check out my Patreon account if you enjoyed this video and want extra content. I have over 100 exclusive videos on there. And I recently talked about Sneeko's debate with Walter from Fresh and Fit, which was so cringy, but it was hilarious to watch. And also I talked about David Lucas recently and how he's unhinged and just a ton of other stuff. I cover a lot of different topics. So if you're interested, make sure you check it out. Put a link in the description. Damn. Bro, this... <laughs> this was so good. I really enjoyed this video. Uh, I had no idea that this was like the same dude. <laughs> but uh, I mean, he's just another character. Andrew Tate type. I mean, it's whatever. Um, you got to get your money somehow. So Bro, that's what the crazy thing. Like people's desperation to not work uh, a regular job. It's like. The amount of mental gymnastics these guys do. You got to protect the money at all costs. Got to protect the lifestyle at all costs. It's just it's crazy to me, dude. I mean, whatever. I'll just I'll let him do his own thing. If you don't like this person, uh, the best thing that you could do, uh, just ignore him. Uh, pay him no mind. Uh, you don't need to compliment him. You don't need to harass him. Uh, just don't interact with any of his things on the internet. That's it. That's my best advice. But overall, cool video, kind of funny, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually looking forward to seeing like some other shit, dude. But yeah, keep it up. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, later.